Hi folks, we're live on AccuWeather.com with Chief Meteorologist Bernie Reyna talking about today's winter storm in the east. Now Bernie, this is a much more complicated yeah. winter storm than the last couple of blizzards. Yeah, I, I don't think we've had a storm like this, uh, Jesse. I'm trying, I don't remember as well as I used to, but I mean, this is a classic ice storm in the Carolinas. I mean, the ice and the cold air is wedged all the way down into the upstate of South Carolina. You can see pink showing up. Uh, and their temperatures are in the middle 20s right now in the upstate. Uh, and then, of course, you, you still have temperatures below freezing in Charlotte and Raleigh. Uh, meanwhile, where it was the heaviest snow this morning has been along uh, parts of Interstate 81 in western parts of Virginia and areas just south of Washington, D.C., uh, St. Mary's County, um, south and east where we've had seven, eight inches of snow. Now you can see that snow pushing through DC. And I, I really believe while the snow's not over, I'm not looking for a whole lot in the way of additional accumulation in Washington, DC. There is another band from Roanoke toward Norfolk, although it is raining in Norfolk. And I think as that arrives this afternoon, that is kind of the leading edge of snow that goes over to sleet and then eventually uh, freezing rain. Meanwhile, the ice is still is going to continue to be quite bad um, across the Carolinas here. This is where we're looking for the significant ice as we move forward here. So in a lot of these areas along Interstate 81, you're snowing now, but you're going to change over. But even in Roanoke, about seven, eight inches of snow on the ground, you're going over to freezing rain and sleet. And of course, anywhere here in Western North Carolina, you're going to be going over the, uh, you're going to continue with ice. Raleigh, you're going to get it as well, though the thought is the precipitation may be a little heavier the farther you get back. Now, Washington, D.C., I think we're, we're going to go over to sleet and freezing rain by early afternoon. But by then, I think you're going to end up having about uh, four or five inches of snow on the ground, then freezing rain. So most people are going to change over to rain today. In a lot of places, it will be tonight. Um, I think Washington, D.C. will turn over tonight. It's going to take some time, but eventually it will. Uh, once you get a little farther north, let's, let's go up to 95 um, and let's go to um, Philadelphia, New York City. So Philadelphia, it snows about ready to begin. Should snow for a few hours. You've got to be worried about slippery travel uh, for your drive home. And then it will go over this freezing rain through the evening hours and then eventually tonight it should turn over to rain. Now the closer you are to the coast, the uh, quicker that changeover is going to be. New York City around midday uh, should change over to the sleet and freezing rain this evening, rain by midnight. Meanwhile, up in Boston, we're talking uh, late afternoon with a turnover around midnight. Now for the May 95, uh, and a coating to an inch or two, but the farther west you go, the longer you're going to stay with the snow, the longer you're going to go with the ice before the changeover to rain. Where's the thump going to be? Well, we've already seen that across uh, Interstate 81 in Virginia. But you have to go west of the storm track. And as we talked about, this storm is going to take a track just, and let's go right over the New York GFS because I think it, it's zoning in on the track. So th this track is going to end up being along and east of I-81. That's always been the thought. So what you have to do is you've got to go on the western back the western side of this, and that's going to be northwestern Pennsylvania, Buffalo, Rochester, up toward Watertown, um, probably not as far back as Toronto, but that's where you're going to get the 6 to 12 inches of snow Okay. as we go through tonight. It's, it's farther west. Now, you have that zone in between, though, like a Syracuse down toward, now, down toward uh, Dubois where you're going to have a few inches of snow that goes over to sleet and freezing rain, may never change the rain. Of course, Pittsburgh, people in Pittsburgh love when this happens. You get a southeasterly wind, you're going to downslope. I don't think you're going to get much more than an inch or two. Then it will go to rain, then it will end as a little snow, and by the time you add it all up, maybe there's an inch or two, but there's not going to be a whole lot. So I had a couple questions yes, about the, of the long range. What's what's coming after this? Are we going to warm up? Well, I haven't really looked too much at long range, except that it looks like it's going to get um, uh, it's going to turn a little tranquil as we get into our Wednesday, Thursday. Then it will warm up as we get into the uh, into the weekend, and uh, beyond that, we'll have to rebuild the cold 
and it looks as though our next threat will be somewhere, I don't know, 25th, 26th, somewhere in that. But after this, I think it that gets a little tranquil. <coughs> Excuse me. Any other questions? Uh, what's in store for the Altoona area? Brian wants to know. I think you're looking at a, a the one one to three inches of snow that goes over to ice, and then the ice will change over to the rain. Now the question is, is how long does it take? It may take quite a bit of time as we go through tonight, so there may be a significant amount of ice, or at least enough ice to cause major problems tonight. I don't think things get better in Altoona traveling until seven eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay, is that the same uh, for here in State College? Yeah, same thing here in State College. I think we're getting a couple inches of snow here. We had a little bonus snow this morning yeah, we uh, did. Uh, out of almost uh, thin air. But um, I think then it's going to change over. I'm hoping that it changes over to plain old rain by about 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock because that's when I come into work. I'm concerned it'll take a little longer. Is there going to be a refreeze tonight in New Jersey on no, the coast? No, no. Temperatures no. are just going to keep They're going up, gonna right? They're just going to soar. Yeah, you know, you've got tomorrow, a tremendous amount. And, and you know, listen, it's going to your, – your low temperature tonight is probably at 5, 6 o'clock, and then it's, it's going to soar. So this is not a refreeze uh, at all. Once you change over to rain, you're going to keep warming up. And uh, I know it's hard to believe after the cold that we've had, but this Arctic air is retreating. It's being attacked by, by this first storm that's producing the snow. But this storm, you can see all the rain. That's I mean, a that's lot of rain. Really, and some, yeah, we had look a couple of people mention the possibility of severe storms. Well, I think, I, I think it's mostly along I-10. You've got to go down to I-10 where, so New Orleans, Mobile, but the thought is that you can get some severe all the way up to Interstate 20. So that would be like Birmingham, maybe to Atlanta, but I think it's more likely down across the Gulf Coast. You're wedged in here. This cold air is wedged in here as well, as well against northern, in the northern Alabama. That's going to be hard to get out of there. How long is the cold air going to stay wedged in uh, northwest South Carolina? Boy, it's going to take some time. Um, Maybe this evening, seven o'clock or so. Now here, here's the here's the good news. If there's any with this, there's not much in the way of precipitation. Where you're wedged in, you can see there's just spotty precipitation: Raleigh, Charlotte, uh, Green, uh, Greenville, um, uh, South Carolina, and the Upstate. So there's not going to be a lot, but unfortunately, it's so darn cold. Uh, any kind of freezing rain and freezing drizzle you have, and it may only be a tenth or two. That's going to be enough to cause problems. Then as the heavier precipitation comes in, to me that's a sign that the warmer air is coming in. All right, one more answer for you. Justin wants to know um, Harrisburg. What's the forecast for Harrisburg? Harrisburg, I think you're going to get a, uh, a, an inch or a couple of inches of snow. Then it is going to go to ice. The question is, is when does it change to rain? It's certainly going to change to rain quicker in Harrisburg than it is here and back, back in the State College in Altoona. Wee hours in the morning, 2, 3 o'clock, it should go over the rain, but I think you've got to be prepared for about a six to seven hour period of some freezing rain. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully it won't be much longer than that. All right, thanks a lot, Bernie. For oh, it's more my information, uh, put in your zip code on AccuWeather.com or visit Facebook.com slash AccuWeather. Follow us on Breaking Weather on Twitter, and Bernie is AccuRaino on Twitter. AccuRaino, and you can always find me on Facebook as well. Thanks, folks.